Do your pets know when it is Shabbat? I find it fascinating how often over the years people have actually said to me that they genuinely believe that in one form or another their pets do know when it is Shabbat. In fact, our sages in the Psikta Rabbati tell us that on one occasion Rabbi Yochanan sold his ox to a non-Jewish farmer. After a while, the farmer came to Rabbi Yochanan to complain to him. That ox you sold me, he said, refuses to work on Saturdays. Such a phenomenon can be understood in the context of Pashat Mishpati. In our parasha, the Torah yet again gives us the mitzvah to keep Shabbat. And this is how the mitzvah is worded here. Uvayom hashvi'it And on the seventh day, you must have a Sabbath. Lima an yanuach shorcha In order that your ox and your donkey should rest. Now surely here the Torah should have said, every seventh day, you, your ox and your donkey should rest. Why is it presented in this fashion? The Rebbe of Gur explains beautifully. He said, If every seventh day you have a true Shabbat, that is to say you don't just keep the letter of the law in a technical way, but if in addition you keep to the spirit of the day, if your day is filled with ruach, spiritually uplifting experiences, the result is that you will have a great impact on your surroundings, so much so that even your ox and your donkey will know that this is a special day. I believe that this teaching is of enormous significance today at a time when there is so much out there competing with our requirement to keep Shabbat. And what applies to Shabbat applies to all of the mitzvot. The prophet Isaiah declared, Fikarata la Shabbat oneg. You will discover that the Sabbath is a day of oneg, of true delight. If on this day, you stop doing what we call vochadic activities, weekday activities, and instead you add on to your Shabbastic activities. The result is that you will discover what a delight Shabbat is. In fact, it's an extraordinary gift from Hashem that every seven days we can have an opportunity for a life-shaping and life-enhancing experience. But that only happens when we keep the spirit of the day. It's so important that we should be enthusiastic and passionate about Shabbat. And if we are, through keeping to the spirit of the day, we'll have the capacity to pass on that enthusiasm through to the generations to come. It's only when we keep to the spirit of Shabbat that it becomes what we describe the day to be in our Zmirata songs on the day, a true me'ein olam haba. Shabbat can indeed be for us the closest thing to heaven we will reach while still being here on earth. Shabbat Shalom.